medals, Canadian records, world championship titles, it all adds up to one excellent and very inspiring career. And that's how we sum up the years in the pool for Canadian Olympic swimmer Ryan Cochran. You heard just in the last hour the breaking news that he is retiring from competitive swimming. What a legacy he leaves in his wake. What a wonderful opportunity to talk to Ryan himself. He's gotten up extra bright and early for us in Victoria this morning. Great to see you, Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I, well, first off, the early mornings aren't anything new, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited to be able to share this with you today. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased to be able to share this because, you know, we were thinking it, it must be like a difficult secret to keep because you've surely known this was coming, but you haven't announced it until this moment when it became breaking news. And now that it's out there and now that you're saying it, I am retiring, how, how does it feel? <laughs> it's completely surreal is the only way I can describe it. It, I'm always going to have a piece of me that's left in sports. And uh, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it at this point. You know, you kind of envision doing it forever. And because it's been 20 years and I've gotten so much from the sport and so much from Canadians, you know, the support we felt for years and years and years was uh, one of the greatest feelings in the world. So uh, it's, yeah, it's surreal. I, I, it's hard to put it into words when it's been that many years. You, you, I'm going to tell you about some more support you're getting, continue to get from Canadians. You've had a lifetime in the pool, though. I've been doing the math. Have you ever done the math? You do two sessions a day at 120 lengths. So the pool's 50 meters. So if you put that over two sessions a day, I gave you 300 days of swimming a year. And I just did rough math. That's 72,000 kilometers in the pool. It even sounds more impressive. It's 72 million meters in the pool, just in terms of training. I mean, that Ryan Cochran, that's dedication. It, you know, it, we had such a good team around us in Victoria that uh, there's, you know, a, a group of 10 people that really let you be the professional athlete that you want to be, that support you. And that's the coaches, that's all of our staff members. And I couldn't do any of that without them. And uh, it, it really is a team sport. Well, you are generous as always uh, in your compliments, but let's talk about you today. This is all about you. Of all of the medals and the championships and the titles, I was trying to think about what, what really stands out for my memory. And I don't know if you'd agree with this because I, I want to hear from you, but when you won that medal in Beijing, after the low for Canada swimmers just four years earlier in Athens, and there you were with the only swimming medal, and from there the team just built. I mean, that was such an important moment for the country. Do you look at that medal as being, or that moment as being perhaps key? I had dreamed about, you know, even going to the Olympics since, you know, as far as I can remember from six years old, that's what I wanted to do when I was terrible at everything that I tried. And so when I actually got to go to Beijing and, and realize that dream, it took me actually a lot of years to uh, figure out the significance of that. And um, I, I was there to race. I was always there to win medals. I knew exactly what I, what I wanted. But um, the change that we've seen from our team now where it's been completely normalized, our team wins medals Apparently, everybody wins medals now. And uh, I think that's such a special thing to look back on and think that, uh, you know, it, it was special in the moment. But as athletes, sometimes we're terrible and we're always looking on to the next thing. So I think today will be about uh, appreciating those moments, uh, remembering what it was like to be at those first games. And uh, it does seem a little bit like a lifetime ago. Look, the legacy in Rio, you can trace it right back to you and getting the Canadian program going because you were the standard bearer for so long for the sport in this country. So you should take credit for that. There you go again, giving credit to others. Come back to you for just a second. <laughs> because I want to talk about also... I mean, certainly when you talk about the medals and they increased in, in London, they didn't come in the way that you'd hoped and dreamed and trained for in Rio. You didn't get the gold that I know was missing for you, and I know what a disappointment it was. But looking back on that now, uh, put perspective on that. Put perspective on, on your career in swimming and what it's brought to you, Ryan. It's, it's brought everything to me. You know, I, uh, I started at eight years old. And it's, it's one of those things that, you know, you just don't realize how far it's going to take you. And uh, I never thought I'd be swimming 20 years later. I never thought I'd be able to go to all these world championships and, and be able to go to Commonwealth Games and, and really just travel the world with that maple leaf on. And so it was 
the absolute greatest job in the world. And I think that's what makes it so hard to, to move past that because, uh, it, it's something that just kept giving me more and more and more. And, um, I'm so thankful that I was able to do that with such, you know, for way more years than I ever thought were even possible. <laughs> well, don't think the Canadians didn't notice. We just did a quick solicit uh, because this is still breaking news. But the wishes have come in on Twitter. Thank you. All the best to you in the future. Here's another one. Thank you for keeping us, Canada, competitive in the pool, inspiring the next generation, making me want to work harder in the gym. That's the kind of impact. <laughs> and I like this one, too. Thank you for your dedication to excellence. I mentioned that. But also for representing your country so well. What has it meant to you, Ryan, to represent Canada, to wear that uniform, to stand on the podium as a Canadian athlete? It, sometimes it's hard to find the words because we're very fortunate in Canada for a lot of the opportunities we're given, uh, just the, the society, the people, all of it. I think uh, when you actually travel the world uh, for stuff like swim meets, uh, you, you come home with this even greater appreciation for what we have and the support we get. And, um, I always wanted to make Canadians proud. I think that's why this past summer was so gutting. You know, I was really disappointed in myself, but even more so because I think everybody had those expectations for me. But, um, when you hear messages like that, it's, it's just the most humbling thing. And, um, I, I swam because I wanted to win that gold medal, but I also, you know, you always want to make Canadians proud because they're the ones that are supporting you back home no matter where you are. Quickly, uh, before I have to let you go, any thought to what's next? Well, I've actually started working full-time, which is a bit of a change in pace <laughs> with a software company here in Victoria called Synchronous. So I'm excited. You know, my leadership role from from the Olympics this summer, I, it's going to translate. And I'm, I'm excited to see where that'll take me, uh, you know, hopefully for my entire life to come.